In this video, we will discuss the best practices regarding QAing and auditing your implementation. As a best practice, we recommend always creating two separate projects when first implementing Mixpanel, a development project and a production project. Before pushing any data to your production project, it is always best practice to first QA the data in your dev environment. When QAing your implementation, there are two different levels of QAing your team should conduct, a code level QA and a user flows QA. Code level QAs consist of developers QAing individual events, properties, and their values by triggering calls and monitoring the results of any errors in the data or errors thrown by the Mixpanel API. User flows QA, on the other hand, should consist of product and data teams utilizing your website or mobile app to focus on user flows by triggering events and creating user profiles, and then checking in the Mixpanel UI for data accuracy and identity management issues. During code level QA, a tool you can enable if you're utilizing our client-side SDKs is debug mode, which will log any client-side errors thrown while making a Mixpanel call, any errors thrown by our API when trying to ingest the data, and all successfully ingested API calls. You can access these logs either in the browser console or from either your mobile device or simulator via development platforms like Xcode and Android Studio. Please refer to the SDK documentation for more information on how to enable debug mode for the specific SDK you have implemented with. At the bottom, you will see two images here. These are examples of the logs that are created by debug mode in our JavaScript SDK. If you are not utilizing our clients at SDKs, your dev team should include code to handle error responses thrown by our APIs. An example would be utilizing code to retry events with an exponential backoff when receiving a 429 rate limited error response. Another helpful tool that can be utilized at both code level and user flows QA is the events report in the Mixpanel UI. You can utilize the events report to see events as they flow into your Mixpanel project, as well as the properties attached to those events to identify any tracking discrepancies. You can also enable JSON mode on the events to see the raw structure of the underlying data being ingested into Mixpanel. When conducting user flows QA, you can also view user profiles to view a user's event feed and user properties. From this view, you can examine the identity cluster to see all the distinct IDs linked to the user, search and validate all user properties and their values, Use the activity feed to search through all events with the most recent one listed at the top. Adjust the date range or hide certain events for easier troubleshooting. Expand any events to see the event's properties. And click view and insights to do further analysis use, using the insights report. Once you have confirmed the cleanliness of your implementation by QAing in your dev environment, you should begin pushing live data into your production environment. If you have any questions, check out our docs, leave a comment, or join our Slack community. Thanks for watching.